quick video here to show that um, I was alerted to a lot of beeping on the dishwasher. Uh, this one's a Neff. Um, what's the model there? Look, S51E50X3GB. Anyway, it wasn't an expensive one. It's an inbuilt one, integrated one. And uh, well, it was beeping madly, so I wondered what was going on. And uh, oh dear, not pumping the water away. Um, it seems to have got mostly through the load, so I've taken the basket out, the bottom basket, and uh, well, I cleaned the filter. It wasn't too bad. Um, I'll just stuck that back in again. But um, yeah, the water wasn't going, and it's making some very peculiar noises. So it's almost like, um, well, it's, it's like something stuck in there. But what you can do, this is going to be difficult to photograph and film in the in the night. So if you look down here, if you take out the filters, uh, what you've actually got down here is this little white piece here. And it says in the manual use a spoon to prise it open, but you can do it with your thumb. So there you go, it's like a little, like a shroud. Tilt it away and then pull it up. And in there, you should be able to see the impeller. I can just get some light in there. The impeller's right down there in the corner. Try not to dunk my camera in the uh, the water. But anyway, um, I sponged it out, tried it again. As you can see, I haven't got very far because it's still blocked with water. The first one was um, dirty rinse water. So I've emptied it with a sponge. Check the impeller, it's turning okay. Obviously make sure you do this with the mains unplugged. Um, so it doesn't seem to be a knackered impeller. What I've got is some, um, just a bit of tubing, rubber tubing. This is actually earth. Um, shroud for earth wire. Anything soft. Now what you can do is if you're lucky this one seems to allow you to poke the wire down the exit pipe. So if you're lucky enough difficult to do with one hand but what you can do is you can thread that down through there like that. So I threaded that down and um, I heard some gurgly noises so it's possible there's a blockage. Now I managed to get most of this flex in about a meter's worth. Um, and I checked underneath. So there's the uh, pipes, can you see them? We can just about see them. Go under there. And eventually, um, I actually found it was blocked at this end. So even though it was making some very peculiar noises at the pump end, so I thought something was jammed in the pump, it was actually, um, so the, the uh, dishwasher outlet goes into the T there, and there we go, look, some bits. Now I don't know how they've got past the filter, because that's supposed to stop all that sort of stuff. Um, that's peanuts. So how have they got past the impeller? That's bizarre, isn't it? Obviously didn't mash them up. But yeah, so just thought I'd uh, do a quick film just to show you that you can get to the the impeller down there um, by prising this thing out and um, yeah you can thread a piece of pipe it kind of goes this way first and then down and actually I managed to get it almost to the end here but I ran out of uh, flex um, and it seemed to stop and I thought well, okay let's get this end off and uh, sure enough after I emptied the bit into the water into the bucket there a bit of water there's the blockage so I need to empty that out So yeah, so I need to empty that out, and hopefully that's fingers crossed job done. But uh, yeah, this bit goes back in the same way as it came out. So tilt it in, kind of goes in at an angle. Um, it is actually easier than it looks, but um, I'm obviously struggling with the wrong hand here because I'm holding the camera. in so it looks like that and it takes the water from underneath the white bit so let's see if it drains after I've cleaned it out okay so this was interesting I've emptied it but can you see there's a lot of um, I don't know, it just looks like pieces of plastic that haven't been cleaned off properly come on camera you can do it there we go so yeah you can see there there's no chance at all for food to get through without getting caught up on that. So that's actually 
it's like, it's like the plastic tubing hasn't been machined properly. So I'm going to have to strip all them off just using a screwdriver or something or a, a long knife. And that is probably what's actually caused it. Probably, you know, bits do get past the filter and they're supposed to get out and exit through the drain. But with that there, well, over time, as you can see, it caught up some bits. It wasn't a lot, actually. I was expecting it to be completely full. A couple of bits of peanuts, a bit of fluff, and it's all caught on there, and that's what's jammed it. So, yeah, I guess if you buy cheap parts, that's what happens. And the kitchen was put in for us, and, well, you hope it was, uh, was done with decent parts, but alas, no. Okay, let's see if it drains without the tea piece in. Come on, focus. Jacking some water out. And there we go, empty. Let's have a look. Yeah, pretty much as it normally is when it's drained. So, I think a fix for that. There we go, how's one block? Bit of bonus footage showing you the filters. So this is what it looks like in its normal mode. And as you can see, normally the water only comes up to uh, kind of roughly around here, I think. It's not supposed to spill over here, but things can fall down there. And in my case, those peanuts did fall down there made their way past the pump, uh, the impeller, and got jammed in the piping, but uh, normally they would have got all the way through, but because I had a narrowing in the pipe, that's what happened. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see there, when that's in, just turn it anti-clockwise, lift it out, and there's your filter assembly, um, all cleaned, and then you can just separate that by pulling it apart and then you can give those two pieces a little clean and then this is the inside that's the kind of sump if you like and that's normally where some food can get stuck and if it does make its way to the impeller you can just prise this little white piece open here I can focus on there so as you can see that's the little bit you uh, you pry prize out. So let's just swap hands. Okay, so this is the little bit you prize out. So you just grab your thumb behind there or use a spoon. And what I've done is I've literally just pushed it forward like that and it kind of unclips and then you can lift it up. So out a little bit and then up. And then here, oops, get it away. And then this is uh, exposing the impeller. So you might get a few bits stuck in there as well. So let's just have a quick look in there. There we go. So yeah, a good look at the actual blades of the impeller. And then you can just see if that's in good condition as well, if you get issues. But it was making a real weird noise. I think it was just uh, blocked water. So what I was hearing was um, uh, kind of a pressure build up on that impeller which caused all the issues, so uh, there we go, and then obviously replacement's just the, uh, the reverse, so it goes in like that, push it down the inside, and then push it back until it clicks, and then that's, that's good. Um, what I didn't show you actually was the, I don't know if you can see that, so what I did do was I was able to run that piece of tubing Yeah, so I was able to run that piece of tubing um, just inside, so what I did is I ran the tubing. You can just feel, if you put your finger in there, obviously with the power off, um, you can actually feel the, the outlet, there's a hole. Uh, the hole is just kind of 
in there and I ran the tube and it kind of goes this way a little bit and then it drops down and then underneath the machine and then it goes out the pipe of course but if you uh, if you put your finger in there or run a, a small rubber pipe just being very careful with the impeller you can actually push a pipe through there that hole and you can unblock anything there as well so I think there was a bit stuck in there so yeah so that's that and now it's daylight you can see this little bit as well so uh, this that's the model number S51 E50X 3GB slash 45 so that's the model number of this particular one and uh, yeah it was the NEF